Black and Yellow Broadbill, from Wikipedia, the free encyclopedia, at em.wikipedia.org. Table of Contents Section 1. Taxonomy and Systematics Section 2. Description Section 2.1. Vocalizations Section 3. Distribution and Habitat Section 4. Behaviour and Ecology Section 4.1. Feeding. Section 4.2. Breeding. Section 4.3. Parasites. Section 5. Status. Section 6. Notes. Introduction. The black and yellow broadbill, Eurolimus ochromalus, is a species of bird in the typical broadbill family, Eurolimidae. A small, distinctive species, it has a black head, breastband and upper parts, a white neckband, yellow streaking on the back and wings, and wine-pink underparts that turn yellow towards the belly. The beak is bright blue, with a green tip to the upper mandible and black edges. It shows some sexual dimorphism, with the black breastband being incomplete in females. Native to Brunei, Indonesia, Malaysia, Myanmar, Singapore, and Thailand, it inhabits evergreen forest, dipterocarp forest, swamp forest, heath forest, and forest edge, along with secondary forest and plantations that contain large trees. Mainly inhabiting lowlands, the species is found to elevations of 1,220 metres, 4,000 feet. The black and yellow broadbill is mainly insectivorous, but also feeds on mollusks and incidentally takes fruit. The black and yellow broadbill breeds during the dry season throughout its range, with both sexes helping to build a large, untidy, pear-shaped nest out of moss, fungal mycelia, and leaves. Eggs are laid in clutches of two or three, sometimes containing a fourth rund egg, and are incubated by both sexes. The species is listed as near-threatened by the IUCN due to a decline in its population caused by habitat loss. Section 1. Taxonomy and Systematics The black and yellow broadbill was described as Eurolimus ochromalis by the British naturalist Stamford Raffles in 1822, based on specimens from Singapore. The generic name Eurolimus comes from the ancient Greek Eurus, meaning bold, and limos, meaning throat. The specific name ochromalis may come from either Greek okros, meaning pale yellow, and melas, meaning black, or ochromelas, meaning jaundiced. Black and yellow broadbill is the official common name designated by the International Ornithologists' Union. Other common names for this species include black and white broadbill, black and yellow broadbill without dashes, and black yellow broadbill with a dash. The species is called Takao Kasturi in Malay, Nokpaya Park Twanglek in Thai, and Kurao in Temia. The black and yellow broadbill is one of two species placed in the genus Eurolimus, in the typical broadbill family Eurolamidae, a family of nine tropical species native to Southeast Asia. Based on a 2017 study by the Brazilian researcher Alexandre Silvati and colleagues, its closest relative is the banded broadbill. These two species are most closely related to a clade formed by the black and red and silver-breasted broadbills, and all three genera form a sister clade to the genus Sarcophanops. This clade is sister to one formed by the long-tailed broadbill and dusky broadbill. Both of these clades are sister to Grower's broadbill. An earlier 2016 study by Robert Moyle and colleagues also found strong support for these relationships, but did not sample the wattled broadbill. No subspecies of the black and yellow broadbill are currently recognised, but populations from the Banyak Islands and West Borneo have sometimes been treated as distinct subspecies, named E. o. Masistus and E. o. Kalamantan, respectively. However, all of the species' populations show significant variation in appearance between individuals, making the recognition of subspecies inadvisable. Section 2. Description 
The black and yellow broadbill is a small, distinctive species of typical broadbill that is 13.5 to 15 centimetres, 3.5 to 5.9 inches long, and weighs 31 to 39 grams, 1.1 to 1.4 ounces. Males have black heads and upper parts with a white collar and black breastband, along with prominent yellow markings on the back and wings. The underparts are white and pink, fading to yellow towards the belly and undertail coverts, tail feathers that cover the underside of the base of the tail. The tail is black, with yellow spots on the middle feathers, and whiter ones on the outer feathers. The iris is pale yellow, while the bill is bright blue, with a green tip to the upper mandible and black edges. The base of the bill lacks bristles, which are present in some other species of broadbills. The legs are reddish, with long tarso metatarsi. The species shows some sexual dimorphism, with females having a gap in the centre of the black breastband. Juveniles lack a well-defined breastband and have pale yellow supercilium, a stripe running from the beak to above the eye, with greyish-white underparts. Reddish colours in the plumage of the black and yellow broadbill are caused by the biological pigment 2,3-dihydro-papilio-erythinone, which is also present in the feathers of the banded broadbill, black and red broadbill, and Slacophanops species. The yellow in the species plumage is caused by the carotenoid 7,8-dihydro-3'-dehydrolutein, which is also present in the plumage of the banded broadbill. Like other typical broadbills, the black and yellow broadbill has a large, wide bill that is thought to have first evolved in the common ancestor of all broadbills as an adaptation to an insectivorous diet. Its large and fleshy tongue helps manipulate objects inside its beak, allowing it to mash food against the inside of the beak to chew it. This section was accompanied by a picture showing the black and yellow broadbill's tail spots. You can find this picture on the article's Wikipedia page. 2.1 Vocalizations The black and yellow broadbill song is a cicada-like bubbling trill that starts with a few sharp down slurred notes before rising in pitch and gradually speeding up to an 8 to 12 second long low quivering trill. This song is similar to that of a banded broadbill, but is longer, accelerates more slowly, lacks an initial whistle, and ends suddenly. This song is given by a pair of birds, often calling alternately, while other individuals with the calling pair have been recorded giving a shrill, mournful peep. Other calls include a ko ko ko, made by nesting males, and a squeaky kiao. Black and yellow broadbills have also been observed singing and countersinging, singing in response to another bird, when close to other individuals, in dispersing their songs with a throaty kiao. The latter calls are also occasionally used during aggressive confrontations. This section had an info box, which links to a list of black and yellow broadbill calls. You can find it on our Wikipedia page. Section 3. Distribution and Habitat The black and yellow broadbill is found in Malaysia, Thailand, Myanmar, Singapore, and Brunei. In Indonesia, it is found on the Riau Islands and the Linga Islands, as well as on Borneo, Sumatra, Bangka Island, Belitung, and the Natuna Islands. It inhabits evergreen forest, mixed dipterocarp forest, freshwater and coastal swamp forests, heath forest and forest edges, along with secondary forest and plantations, such as those of cocoa, rubber, and albizia. Its presence in secondary forest and plantations depends on those areas having large remnant trees. This species is mostly found in lowlands, occurring at elevations up to 700 metres in the Malay Peninsula, 900 metres in Sumatra, and 1,220 metres in Borneo. 2,300 feet in the Malay Peninsula, 3,000 feet in Sumatra, and 4,000 feet in Borneo. 
Section 4. Behaviour and Ecology Black and yellow broadbills have been recorded forming wing displays, in which they raise their wings, generally slightly over the back, and then slowly open and close their flight feathers. Occasionally, the displays are performed with only one wing, followed by tail wags, or accompanied by gaping displays in which the beak is steadily opened and closed. These displays have been observed after singing, in response to playback, and after foraging. Black and yellow broadbills have been reported occasionally gathering in groups of up to five birds, although groups larger than pairs, or pairs with young, are not regular. In spite of frequent confrontational behaviour, like countersinging, they display a high tolerance for other individuals in their territories, or close by, with aggressive behaviour such as chasing seldom being observed. However, Pairs have been observed confronting each other to defend their territory by bowing their heads and vocalising before attacking each other. This section contained an image showing a female adult and juvenile. You can find it on the article's Wikipedia page. 4.1 Feeding The black and yellow broadbill mainly feeds on insects, including orthopterans, uh, grasshoppers, crickets, and locusts, mantises, beetles, hymenopterans, ants, wasps, sawflies, and bees, flies, winged termites, and caterpillars. It has also been recorded feeding on mollusks, along with incidental consumption of fruit. In Borneo, the orthopterans consumed by the black and yellow broadbill are smaller than those eaten by the closely related banded broadbill. The black and yellow broadbill forages in the middle and upper layers of forest in scattered flocks of 10 to 15 birds. Individual birds feeding on exposed perches in the canopy may be acting as lookouts for larger, more dispersed flocks. Foraging is mostly done by looking for prey from perches, seizing prey from leaf surfaces in flight during short sallies. Aerial insects are also sometimes caught in midair, and it has been observed holding onto the tree trunks like a woodpecker. The species also sallies into termite swarms in a drongo-like manner. Black and yellow broadbills have also been recorded occasionally joining mixed species foraging flocks. 4.2 Breeding The black and yellow broadbill's breeding season starts with the arrival of the dry season and varies widely throughout its range from February to October on the Malay Peninsula, from January to July on Sumatra, and from March to August on Borneo. Wing displays have been observed being performed by both sexes before mating. The nest is a large, untidy, and pear-shaped hanging structure made of moss, fungal mycelia, and leaves, lined inside with grass roots, bamboo leaves, and leaf stalks. Nests are built by both sexes, and are typically located at the edges of clearings or above streams in obstacle-free sites. The measurements of one nest were 17 cm by 13 cm by 10 cm, 6.7 inches by 5.1 inches by 3.9 inches in size, with walls 3.8 cm, 1.5 inches thick, and an entrance of 5 cm by 6.4 cm, 2 inches by 2.5 inches wide. The nest is generally suspended from branches or other appropriate locations 5 to 18 metres, 16 to 59 feet, above the ground, and is attached with loops made of grass, twigs, or cane grass. Nest construction sometimes continues after the laying of eggs. In Borneo, nests are sometimes placed close to beehives, which may provide either protection for the nest or a food source. Nests are occasionally partially hidden by leaves, but some may be con conspicuously located. Other species of Asian broadbills have been reported breeding cooperatively, but no helpers have been observed near black and yellow broadbill nests. A full clutch consists of two to three eggs, but some clutches may contain an additional fourth runt egg. Eggs measure 22.9 to 24.1 millimetres by 17.4 to 19.7 millimetres, 0.9 to 
to 0.95 inches by 0.69 to 0.78 inches in size and are oval shaped with a slightly pointy narrow end. They are off white to fawn pink with variable brown to purplish brown flacking and underlying light purple spots. The flacking and spots occur all over the egg but are densest in a band around the broader end. Incubation is performed by both parents. The time period taken to incubate eggs and for chicks to fledge is not known. The Indian cuckoo has been recorded as a brood parasite of the species, which may also be parasited by other species of cuckoos. In Borneo, black and yellow broadbills have also been observed defending their nests from prevost squirrels who are foraging on a nearby vine. This section was accompanied by an image of a black and yellow broadbill in its nest. You can find it on the article's Wikipedia page. 4.3. Parasites. In Thailand, the black and yellow broadbill has been recorded being parasited by the chewing louse, of which it is the type host. It has also been recorded as the host of the mite Harpipalpus holopus, although this is a doubtful record. 5. Status. The black and yellow broadbill is listed as being near threatened by the International Union for Conservation of Nature, IUCN, on the IUCN Red List. Its population is thought to be declining fairly quickly due to habitat loss caused by logging, land conversion and wildfires. The effect of habitat loss on the species may have been reduced due to its tolerance of secondary forest. It was previously common throughout its range and is still locally common in areas with suitable habitat. It is likely to survive in the long term only in protected areas and higher lying forests in spite of its tolerance of degraded habitat. Section 6 Notes This article was submitted to the Wiki Journal of Science for external academic peer review in 2022. The updated content was reintegrated into the Wikipedia page under a Creative Commons BYSA 3.0 license. The version of record as reviewed is Arian Koneka et al. 28th of February 2023, Black and Yellow Broadbill, Wiki Journal of Science, Q112671402. End of article. A full list of references for this article can be found on its Wikipedia page. This sound file and all text in the article are licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Sharealike 3.0 Unported License, available at creativecommons.org slash licenses slash by hyphen sa hyphen 3.0. Thank you for listening.